Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a little scouting analysis reel of yet another goalkeeper said to be in Celtic's scouting radar system. Um, Celtic are said to be um, actively looking at this player and he does appear to be uh, yet again on the move from his current club and there are a couple of other clubs said to be interested in him um, namely Southampton and PSV Eindhoven but it would look like um, for both of those teams he probably wouldn't be the number one goalkeeper um, in that Southampton apartment are looking for a player to cover until the number one choice is back from injury and at PSV there is already a highly rated established keeper who's just one year into his contract so it looks like if he was to go to Southampton he would be number one choice for just a while and at PSV he definitely would be a backup and that does appear to be what has stalled his career just recently so the player is a player called Patrick Pence currently on loan from by a Leverkusen to Bronby and at the end of his loan deal with Bronby he'll be going back to Bayer Leverkusen however since he was transferred to Bayer Leverkusen he's been on the bench only and has yet to make a start for Bayer Leverkusen he joined them from Stade Rem in France and only made a small number of appearances for them and the great bulk of his career has been at Austria Vienna uh, in the Austrian league and he is actually a current Austrian international with five caps and seems to be the number two choice in the Austrian international setup so as usual I've put together a wee uh, scouting reel of highlights now these are from his time in Austria so this is just before he went to France, where he was briefly, and then on to Bayer Leverkusen, and then from Bayer Leverkusen has spent um, the bulk of the 23-24 season um, at Bromby on loan. So, just have a wee look at the highlight reel uh, with the usual copyright disclaimers, and then after that we'll go through some of his current stats and career stats, and a wee bit of my own analysis of how I see Patrick Pence's strengths and weaknesses.
Yeah, so um, that was a five minute extract um, from a video that's about uh, nine to ten minutes long. Uh, there are some other scouting reels and highlight reels of Patrick Penn's <coughs> via YouTube. Um, the longer videos are from uh, a year or two ago um, when he was at Austria Vienna early in his career. Uh, there are a few highlights of games he's played uh, in the last year or so in Denmark and France. So just a wee bit more detail regarding um, Patrick Pence, uh, 27 years old, as I, was, as I was saying, five caps for the full international Austrian side. He's represented Austria at all the other age groups, up from under 16 to under 21. At one meter eighty-three, so around about six foot two, um, and is said to be currently uh, at, rated at two million as an asking price for Bayer Leverkusen. But a lot of scouts, experts, and pundits are saying that ordinarily uh, he would be rated at six to eight million was up for his contract situation where his contract will be up in June 2025 so Bayern Leverkusen are looking to sell him on in the summer and bring in a new younger number two at Leverkusen. In 23-24 um, on loan at Bromby 24 games considered 22 goals and nine clean sheets and so a pretty good one in every two and a half games um, clean sheet rate uh, over his career, which, as I said, was primarily in Austrian football linked to Austria Vienna. 224 career appearances, conceding 288 goals with 64 clean sheets in his time uh, as a whole as a career. So one in every three and a half games. Uh, clean sheets, so not not bad stats, all things considered. Has got um, experience in the Europa League and the European Europa Conference League, uh, playing games in both of those. Um, has been in Champions League squads, but has only been on the bench in the Champions League, so no actual Champions League experience, but as I said, quite a number of games in Europa League and Europa Conference League. Now, my own analysis of uh, Patrick Pence looks like a very agile, acrobatic goalkeeper, very good shot stopper, does, to give him a lot of credit, gets the ball away from goal and away from the oncoming attackers when he does make a save. Um, it is uh, very quick reactions uh, shown by his ability to stop short range, short range of shots, and also um, does spread himself very well coming out to oncoming attackers. He does tend to stay in his goal, um, narrowing down the angle. Doesn't seem a goalkeeper particularly keen to come out of his box as a sweeper keeper role, although I dare say he would be able to learn that without too much difficulty also tends to be a goalkeeper that stays on his line for crosses into the box and that does fit into Celtic's current way of playing where Joe Hart pretty much stays in his six yard box for any high balls, corners, free kicks etc uh, into the danger zone. I much prefer a goalkeeper that does actually come for the ball, punches it clear or catches the ball from crosses that does not appear to be the way that Rodgers wants his goalkeepers. Um, does seem to always take up a, a very good starting position for saving shots or blocking to attackers. Obviously very quick reflexes, uh, quick reactions. Um, and um, does, however, show um, he is quite confident with the ball at his feet. Good distribution, throwing the ball out as well. Good vision for where his teammates is. Um, and so um, I think a lot of positives for um, Patrick Pence. Um, 
would just like to see him being a wee bit more able to come out of his box to break up attacks, restart attacks. Um, also, uh, we would like him to be a wee bit better coming for the ball and dominating his six yard box. Is said um, by scouts to be a very good team player, a very hard working player, and has um, had in his career about 10 years ago a significant shoulder injury. But in the 10 years since then, he's only had one further injury, and that was just lasting um, a week. So does appear to have good uh, natural fitness, endurance, and ability to avoid injuries. So many things to be said for Patrick Pence. Obviously, age 27, good age for a goalkeeper. Um, he has plenty of experience playing in Austrian football, has some European uh, competition experience and international experience. And so I would certainly put him towards the top of and goalkeepers that Celtic are said to be looking at at the moment, in that he has um, more experience than several that Celtic have been said to be looking at. On the same topic, um, there are stories that uh, Joe Hart um, would be willing to come back to Celtic in a non-playing role. One would guess this would maybe would be goalkeeping consultant. Uh, type role rather than taking over as goalkeeping coach um, as one of the reasons he was said to be keen to retire at this time was to be able to spend more time with his young family uh, who have been based in England even though he's been up in Scotland for the last three years. Another wee um, bit of transfer news is that Celtic do seem to be actively exploring signing both beyond Miofsky and Conor Barden, probably those two are Aberdeen's best players at the weekend. Miofsky, obviously, uh, last season and in the first half of this season, had a very, very good goal-scoring record for Aberdeen. He's had a poorer 2024, although he was um, dangerous for the first half of the Cup semi-final. Conor Barden, uh, good work rate. Um, um, good distribution, good tackler, and uh, kind of ran himself into the ground for Aberdeen in the cup semi final. And for me, they he were they were two of Aberdeen's best players uh, on the day. No definite bids, no definite move to sign either. Barden is actually out of contract with Aberdeen at the end of the season, and so would be available for two to three. Hundred thousand pounds worth of compensation to Aberdeen. Mayovsky is probably obviously going to need a fee of somewhere six, seven, eight, nine, ten million, depending on whether there are other teams bidding for him. But as I said, nothing definite in terms of signing Baron or Mayovsky from Aberdeen, and it would appear that the Patrick Pence um, transfer is at very early stages, um, simply with. Uh, intensive scouting, it would appear, rather than any offer of a contract. However, if he was available at two million, that would seem a very reasonable price for a man said to be rated in the region of six to eight million. So, as usual, if you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed this sort of video um, and you're not yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. Get things pushing up towards. 500 which would get me to level two as a youtube creator also do click that like button for more people to see this video and as usual do pop your comments regarding patrick pence and celtic's current goalkeeping situation if there's any other goalkeepers you've been um, seeing that may well be celtic options for the summer and do pop those into the comment section so for today thanks for watching Goodbye and hail, hail.